Okay, so I'm looking to do this integral here. Integral of x times e to the 4x dx. So as we've got two uh, terms, an x and an e to the 4x with dx, we're going to need to do integration by parts. So integration by parts is done like this. Integral u dv equals u v minus integral of v times du. That's our basic formula for integration by parts. So now what we need to do is assign our variables x and e to the 4x. So we've got u will be one of these terms and the derivative of v will also be one of these uh, two terms. So the question is which way round are we going to do it? So looking at these two terms we want to set one of them that's going to disappear when we uh, take the derivative. So the one that's going to disappear when we take the derivative will be x because the derivative of x will just become 1 so there'll be no x. So basically what we want to set is for x to be u because when we take the derivative of u we just get a 1 whereas e to the 4x that will never disappear you will always end up with e to the 4x and some coefficient. So first of all we need to set our parameters u and dv. So u as you will set it out like this. We'll set out u to be x and dv to be e to the 4x. And then because it's a derivative, we need to write the dx. So now what we need to do is we need to, need to take the derivative of u. So now we've got a derivative of u equals 1 dx, where dx equals du over 1, which is just du. So that's now looking good for us. Right, okay, so dv is e to the 4x. So now what we need to do is we need to take the integral of both sides. So if we take the integral of dv equals the integral of e to the 4x dx. Okay, so the integral of dv is just going to be v. Okay, now the integral of e to the 4x. So we're going to need to do a u sub to take care of this 4x. So just down here, let's just do a little line here. We'll set u equals 4x, du equals 4dx. So dx equals du over 4. Okay, plug that into this integral. So now we take this into the u world, e to the u du divided by 4. So we'll just put a quarter for now. So usual business, let's bring this quarter out to the front. So it'll still be equals 1 quarter integral e to the u du. And now the integral of e to the u is just e to the u. Okay, so then that will lead us, substitute the u back in, which is 4x, so that equals a quarter e to the 4x. Okay, right, now we've got some ammunition now to attack this integral. So again, let's just draw a line here, so we can come down here now with this integral. So using this formula, the integral of u dv which is u dv, which is e to the 4x, which is x e to the 4x dx equals. Okay, so now we need to put our v in here. Let's just put our v in here. So that is a quarter e to the 4x. Okay, equals uv, so x times a quarter e to the 4x. So we can write that as x over 4 e to the 4x minus the integral of v times du. 
So a quarter e to the 4x times du, which is 1. So, uh, which is 1 dx. So now we write the integral of a quarter e to the 4x dx. We've got a 1 there, but we don't need to write the 1 in. Okay, so we've got this is equal now x over 4. So we just write a quarter times x e to the 4x minus the integral of 1 quarter e to the 4x dx. Okay, so now we've got another integral to work out here. Okay, so let's just put this down on the bottom here just quickly with this one. We've done very similar here. So we've got a rough idea of what we need to do. So u equals 4x, we can do that du equals 4dx, so that'll be the same, dx equals du over 4. So the integral of 1 quarter, so we can bring this out front, e to the 4x dx will give us integral of e to the u times a quarter du times a quarter, i.e. dx equals du over 4. So now what we end up now is, so now we're ready to integrate. So a quarter out the front, so now we've got 1 over 16, e to the u. Integral of e to the u is just e to the u. And then e to the u is e to the 4x. So e equals 1 over 16, e to the 4x. Okay, so now we're ready to plug that in into here. So this equals 1 over 4x, e to the 4x. Oh, let me just write that a little bit better x e to the 4x minus 1 over 16 e to the 4x okay now before we want to we can leave it like this with the plus c that would be good enough for our answer but we can do better so what we can do is we can factor out here so we've got 1 over 16 would be unmultiple here for all both sides and also e to the 4x. So what we can say is we can go 1 over 16 e to the 4x brackets 1 over 16 e to the 4x and a quarter e to the x e to the 4x. We could imagine this quarter as being 4 over 16. So what we can say is we can say 4x. Now multiply that out, we'll end up with 1 over 4 x e to the 4x minus 1 16th e to the 4x, that's what we've got here. So we just say minus 1 and plus c. And that will be good enough for our answer.